It's Tuesday, December the 3rd. The word for you today, it's about faithfulness. Today's lesson is about faithfulness. Our scripture passage comes out of Matthew chapter 25, verse 23. Jesus is teaching a parable about faithfulness. Jesus says his master replied, well, well, first of all, this is about a master who gave one of his servants five talents, another servant two talents, and another one, one talent. And he told them to take care of it and manage it while he was gone. He comes back and he's now accounting, they are accounting to his master, master, what they did with his talents. And, and one of them, one with five, shows the master that he doubled it. And his master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. See, the point of this is not about how much we are given, but really the point is, is about faithfulness. Whether we're given much or whether we're giving little, it's about being faithful for what we have. So let's take a closer look at this. He says, well done, good and faithful servant. Well done. The, safe, the, the servant used the five talents that he had and he doubled it. He took what he had and he doubled it. Now he had five talents. Now he didn't make 15. He made another five. What talents has God given you? Your skills, abilities. Are you using those for him? You say, well, I can't, I'm at home and I can't, I just can't get out and do anything. Okay. Can you, can you dial a phone? Can you talk to somebody? Can you pray with somebody? Sure you can. Use what God has given you. You say, but I can do very little. Well, then, you know, you may have been given one talent right now. Use that one talent to do. And you know what's going to happen? God's going to be pleased with that. But if we just sit and say, you know, I can't do any more than this, and we do absolutely nothing, is God pleased with that? So he says, well done, good and faithful servant, because the servant took what he had and he used it. And it really doesn't matter whether it was five or a hundred or one. He, he took what he had and he used it. Then his master goes on and says, you have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Because the servant was faithful with what he'd been given, the master said, I can trust you with more now. You know, sometimes we want God to give us more. God, I want you to give me this and this. God, I, I could do really do big things if I just had this. God says, okay, will you do this? You know, there are times when, when God just impresses upon me that I need to call somebody. Or maybe there's somebody at church that, that God tells me, go up and, and pray with them. And I'm thinking, well, this is really not a big deal. It's... It, God may just be looking for faithfulness. He just may be looking to see, Bruce, are you going to be obedient right now? Because if you are, there's something else coming down the road. And if you're not going to be obedient to this, I can't trust you to be obedient to what's coming down the road. So we just take what God tells us to do and we do it. Why? To show our faithfulness and our obedience. And then later on, you know what? He may have something even greater for us. So we use what we've given. We were faithful with whatever we've been given. And then he says, come and share your master's happiness. What is he talking about? Well, the master was pleased with the servant. And he says, good. And he wanted to celebrate with the servant. You know, when, when God has used you for something, don't you feel a joy? Don't you feel a peace? You and God are celebrating together. There is an incredible peace and joy when we do exactly what we knew God wanted us to do. And that's, that's, that's really what he's talking about. God is pleased with this. We feel fulfilled and, and we're fellowshipping together. And it's just an incredible, wonderful time with God. And you never know, you never know what God is going to do with our faithfulness. There was a stormy night and an elderly couple entered the lobby of a small hotel and asked for a room. The young man who was managing that hotel uh, said, I'm, I'm sorry, but all the rooms are taken. As a matter of fact, all of the hotels in town have taken. There's this convention going on and there aren't any rooms anywhere. And the couple kind of look at each other. It's an elderly couple. And the, and the young man looked at him. He said, you know, tell you what. He said, 
I can let you have my room if you don't mind sleeping in my room. I'll just be working up here at the desk and you can have my room if you want. And they, they graciously accepted that. And the next morning when they checked out, the man said, you know, you, uh, you're the type of man that needs to be managing the largest hotel in town. And so he, he gave him his card and the young man didn't think anything about it. A couple of years passed and, and he gets his phone call. The young man gets his phone call from Chicago and the man's name is um, William Waldorf Estor, and he had built the largest hotel in Chicago. And he called this young man to come and be the manager of that hotel. How did that come about? Because the young man was giving a job as manager of a small, insignificant hotel. He was faithful doing that. Went above and beyond, but he was faithful for doing what he was given. And because of that, because of his faithfulness, <laughs> he became the manager of the largest hotel in Chicago. God is wanting to do things in your life. He's wanting to use you. Maybe not to manage the largest hotel in Chicago, but God wants to do some incredible things through you. First of all, we have to be faithful what he's called us to do. And it's not about being faithful tomorrow or what we did yesterday. It's being faithful to today to what God has for us today. Have a good day.